I challenge seven friends to a last person standing competition. I try to get them to laugh, roll their eyes, and turn down some pretty enticing things, like petting baby farm animals, eating their favorite foods, getting autographed stuff from their favorite musical artists, money, and more. And anyone who lasts six rounds has a chance of winning some prize money. We started off by rolling this giant six-sided die that I made, because how else would you start this? Yeah. Well, that sounds like <laughs> Why don't you put it on the ground and roll it? No, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> you got it! One! <laughs> Oh, That's break broken. Break oh, nice. Oh, Two. Get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she lost oh, the shoe. Lost the shoe. <laughs> Two. The first level was the easiest. All they had to do was stand there and listen to me say funny sounding words in their ear without laughing. Buttercream, bum fuzzle, litter bin, widow shins, ramshackle, fuddy duddy, litter bin, titter, bumber shoot. And everyone passed with flying colors. Next up for level two, bad jokes. For this level, they couldn't laugh and they couldn't roll their eyes. What do you call a pig that does karate? Pork chop. What does a nosy pepper do? It's jalapeno business. What do you call a pig that does karate? Pork chop. Oh. <laughs> What's the difference between the bird flu and the swine flu? One requires tweetment, the other winkment. <laughs> what kind of ghost has the best hearing? The eeriest. Have you heard about the corduroy pillow? I'm sure you have. It's making headlines. No eye roll. And everyone passed. Round two was another easy one. For round three, participants had to listen to me read a passage and not open their mouths. The passage, though, is about yawning. And when people hear about yawning, they tend to have to yawn. And to yawn, you have to open your mouth. If you yawn in the next 30 seconds, I've legally earned your subscription and a like on this video. Yawning is a universal physiological phenomenon characterized by an involuntary act of opening one's mouth wide and taking a deep breath. While its exact purpose remains debated among scientists, one prominent theory suggests that yawning helps regulate brain temperature Oh, that's good. So far, no losers, but this is where things get interesting. From this point on, it is all about a test of will. Open your mouth, close your mouth, do what you want, but you choose whether you drop out or stay in. Level four was a two-parter. First, everybody was prompted with their favorite foods. Resist the food and you move on. All you have to do is not eat that. <laughs> Cheesy gordita crunch, Taco Bell, fire sauce. You wanna smell it? No? You're gonna pass it up? Okay. And agree not to eat fresh raviolis. Passing it up, passing it up, okay. And not eat these. Want to lose? You sure? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and not eat these. Hot day. <laughs> nice ice cream. In fact, everybody inside is eating one right now, too. Mmm. Mm. You're the only one that's not going to get one. You okay with that? All right. Really? Not gonna. Okay. Level four, part two, cold hard cash. I explained that anyone who makes it to the end will have the opportunity to open one of three boxes. Two have nothing inside and one has $300 inside. And I explained that that means that the average value of each box is $100. So I offered participants $101 to back out now and be guaranteed to win some money. Don't agree to lose. Are you sure? You're guaranteed this money. You don't have to compete with anybody. $100. You sure? Okay. So you can either shake your head no, or you can open your mouth and take $100. No. Okay. Guaranteed. Don't have to fight anymore. 
No. Okay. And you don't have to fight for it anymore. No. All right. Save myself some money. Did you take it? Mm. You have to open your mouth. Uh. All right. $101. Does that actually make perfect sense? I know. That's why I did it. Okay, level five is another two-parter, and so far, I only got one person out. So now it's time to bring in the big guns. Like this autographed copy of John Mayer's most recent CD for a very big John Mayer fan. You like John Mayer? Yeah. You like the album Sob Rock? Well, I have a copy of Sob Rock here for you. And it happens to be autographed by John Mayer. <laughs> That's special. Autographed copy of Sob Rock, and it can be yours right now. Hmm. So the likelihood is that this is worth more than the prize money anyway. And it's pretty special. So I, I think that you should probably take this. <laughs> What'd you think? What'd you think? What'd you think? <clears throat> I'll take it. All right, got it. Is this real? Yeah. Okay. Two down. Also a part of level six, I paid to have one of the participants' favorite actresses send her a personalized video to see if I could get her to react. Christina, Christina, hey, it's Diane. The rule here was if she opened her mouth in surprise or said anything or wanted to keep the video, that's it. So the reaction I got after I thought the cameras were off was exactly what I was looking for. What the hell? <laughs> what the I thought I was gonna get you. <laughs> I thought Mariska was gonna be in the background. No, sorry. <laughs> What the hell? How do you do that? Unfortunately, I didn't know the cameras were still rolling, so I didn't count it. I really thought that would work, but onward and upward. The last part of level six, each participant could either stay in the game or spend one hour petting these adorable farm animals. There was a mini pig named Annie, baby bunnies, and silky chickens. And agreed not to go pet pigs, bunnies, chickens. Another one bites the dust. So everyone that dropped out got to spend an hour sitting with those animals and petting them uh, while everybody else just stood there and watched. Awkward, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. For level five part two, I prompted everybody with the Wheel of Punishment, which is a prize wheel with, let's say, unpleasant things on it. Those included a beard pluck, where a participant would be able to yank a beard hair out of my face with a pair of pliers. We had custom Oreo, which, of course, is where the spinner got to choose ingredients to put on an Oreo that I then had to eat. We had leg wax, which is self-explanatory. There's one space that it could have landed on where nothing would happen to me. Spoiler alert, no one landed on that. And we had vote, which is where the participants were supposed to vote on one of the other things to have done to me. I figured everybody in this contest would want to do one of those things to me. Surprisingly, I only got one person to spin, and they landed on vote. Again, that was supposed to mean that they vote on one thing, and somehow I got tricked into letting them do two of those things, which were a leg wax and custom Oreo. The leg wax went about as you'd expect. What do you think? Really fancy? Or really or really no, slow. slow. No. Like, you gotta you stutter have to do it a fast. bit. You gotta stutter. You have to do it fast. No. You gotta do it Yes, you do. <laughs> All right, ready? Oh, it's not so bad. Oh, you can see it coming out. Make it. No. Do it. No. Oh, you can see it coming out. Make it. No. Do it. No. Oh, 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 by the knee. Give me a fast one. It's like peeling off because he's so sick. Oh. Thank you. 
Amazing. Good job, everybody. Just a quick note that I'm filming this commentary about four weeks after the leg wax and the hair has still not grown back on my leg. And now the custom Oreo, which had spam, garlic, ketchup, onion, mustard, and other delicacies. It was actually much more bearable than the leg waxing. It's really doing it. Ooh, that is rough. Need some tuna, right? Oh, it's oh, green! Oh, no, it would have been green! Hey. There's so much onion. You put so much onion that that's almost all I can taste. The cream of the Oreo, though, <laughs> is cutting through nicely. I may not have leg hair anymore, but I survived. On to the next level. And with just three left, we move on to the finale. Now, I had to eat a custom Oreo, and I thought, what better way to punish them for staying in than to make them eat custom Oreos as well? So they played rock, paper, scissor, and the winner got to tell the loser what to put on their custom Oreo. Wait, hold on. I have a question. Do you rock, paper, scissor says. Thank you. And then shoot. Side note, normally YouTubers ask people to subscribe. Uh, I'm going to ask you to unsubscribe if you say rock, paper, scissor, shoot, and not rock, paper, scissor, says shoot. You're wrong and you don't deserve to watch my videos. Now please resubscribe. I love you and I miss you. Rock, paper, scissor, says shoot. Ah! Okay. Ah! Bam, ketchup, mayo. Raviolis? You have raviolis? In we the have house? a raw ravioli. One raw ravioli. One on raw an ravioli Oreo. on an Oreo. Yay or nay? Yes? Okay. <laughs> oh, what do we got? Give it the old ravioli. <laughs> what do you have that's salty? You can just do salt if you want. I could. You know what? Let's get a big old heap of salt on there. Want a teaspoon of salt? So will you eat Oreo with salt? A teaspoon of salt. Sure. Okay. First we got <laughs> Oh, it's cold. That is a sweet treat. And I get to feed it to you. What? Feed it to you. Really? Oh god. You wanna salt them up? Yeah. Whoa, that's, that's the big side. Oh, oh okay. Oh. That might be, might be a little too much. You have to feed it to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is disgusting. <laughs> you gotta wiggle it out. Now what? All right, now you do it again. All three still in, so we go again. Rock, paper, scissors, says shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, says shoot. So we got roast beef with Dorito. On Oreo. That's me. Oh. All right. It, okay. Oh. Good. Delicious. Good. Oh. <laughs> All three still in. So we go again. <laughs> That's three. What about a, just like a garlic Oreo? Just like, just like minced garlic on an Oreo. Rock, paper, scissors, says shoot. Oh! Yeah, let's do a garlic Oreo part two. All right, that's uh, ginger and garlic for you. Mmm. <laughs> garlic and cheese. Changed. <laughs> oh, he's out! One down on account of vomit, and just two left. And to make this competition as anticlimactic as possible, I had the two participants left play rock, paper, scissor with each other until one of them lost, and they were kicked out of the game. Rock, paper, scissors, said shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, said shoot. One. Rock, paper, scissors, said shoot. Two. You're out. Aren't you happy that you just did those so many yeah, <laughs> For the finale, I built three boxes out of half-inch plywood, reinforced concrete, and duct tape. Two of them have a discouraging note inside, and one contains $300. But just opening one box wouldn't be that exciting, right? So I built in a little twist. The winner gets to choose from three hammers. A sledgehammer, a standard hammer, and an itty-bitty baby hammer. Choose the sledgehammer, and you get three minutes to open as many of the boxes as you can. Choose the standard hammer and you get six minutes to open as many boxes as you can. Choose the itty bitty baby hammer and you get 10 minutes to open as many boxes as you can. They can focus on just one box and more or less guarantee that they get into that one, or they can split their time and try to open multiple boxes if they're feeling confident. And with that, the timer started. I'm gonna pick the sledgehammer. I just wanna point out that one of them is gray. Ready? Set. Go. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> ah! 
Ah, 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 these are just plywood. That's three minutes. And after the three minutes were up and almost no progress was made, I realized that I might have made those boxes a little too strong. So I gave the winner another shot. Choose one box of the three to open, take as much time as you want, call in as many reinforcements as you want. If the money's in there, you win. If not, you get nothing and you pass up a lot of good stuff for no reason. This one is uh, very gray. I'll take the this. I don't know if I'd pick that one. I didn't win. It's okay. I'm pissed. Do you think I just ran out of duct tape or do you think I made that one gray on purpose? Dude, I've known you for 20 years and this is absolutely a throw off. But maybe I know you've known me for 20 years and I know that this is a throw off so I did it reversing. I'd go with the gray one. Yeah? I did yeah. say lifetime warranty. All right, fine. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Uh, princess is in another castle. <laughs> Sorry! I knew it. I knew the gray one wasn't it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to let Annie the mini pig know you love her.